okay hi guys for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the daily expense tracking application by uh, AppGIS and Google Dice okay first let's go to your Google Dice and then just have a uh, create the new folder and name is uh, whatever you would like to name this but uh, relate to your uh, projects okay for example I name is like uh, daily expense okay let's go inside after that you just click on new and then locate the google sheet okay and then you have to add uh, like uh, id then date and time next would be the type ties after that will be the <clears throat> like a uh, topic means amount should be like a uh, <clears throat> document should be like a uh, image <coughs> then email okay after that you can name the <coughs> this uh, as like uh, my pen Okay, for example, like this. Okay. Then after that, you go to like a, a cheat. You click on create and then application with the existing data. After that, you name the app or daily expense app okay you can name is whatever you want to okay you should choose the category as the other after that you choose your data <coughs> you go to your google dice and then you locate your folder daily expense and then you double click on this Okay, first you have to locate the uh, data. After that, you will have a look for <coughs> each uh, column. For example, the ID column uh, is uh, you have to look for the initial value for unique and then for the today and time now. Okay, that's for the default form FGs. Then you have to go to the type okay and then on the tile you change it to enum after that you add your first value like uh, income <coughs> then you add another one which be like uh, the expense okay after that you click done <coughs> for this type you should like uh, require it will add this this time Topics at will and amount is number required. Document you change it to the file in order to allow you to upload the document like uh, the slip or the document that relates to your income or your expense. Okay, after that you you leave it the request as blank as well as image because it is an option. No need to add for the file or image every uh, topic for example for the email you should require and then you just put the initial value for like uh, user email okay you choose save 
okay now let's add an, uh, some calculation <coughs> for the amount okay let's uh, first let's say first okay then you go to like uh, add virtual column the first one you should say like uh, some income okay after that you add formula you should like uh, sum you type sum and then bracket uh, select select okay after that you open the bracket you are uh, <clears throat> my expense this is uh, your database uh, table up to that you select the <coughs> amount okay some amount amount some amount and then <coughs> comma square bracket for the type for the high okay equal to income okay the uh, code equal to income <coughs> okay it's your screen uh, mark you can make a save okay okay you can make uh, the copy for this make a save and click done and then you save so you can add uh, another virtual column this one will be like uh, some expand okay and uh, add form formula be you can control V to play this and then you change from the income to the extend and then you have finished is uh, you click save have done okay you click save it again okay you click on like at virtual column this one would be like a total balance okay <coughs> for this total uh, balance you should like uh, go to the column and then you move down a bit to file for the income first and then minus by the <coughs> pins okay you click save it you click done save it okay now after that you have to have a look for the UX view then we have uh, my extend you can change the its name to be like uh, it's come and expand income and expand okay that uh, the, for this data will be uh, my expense and then you change it to the table very simple to be like at the table after that you <coughs> shut by that okay cook mm, you can leave this alone for it for the uh, group aggregate for the, the column order you can change it like uh, for the date I think after that the second one would be the type and then amount so whatever you can add more than one 
in my case I just put date, pi and amount okay you make save it <coughs> okay now let's try to add uh, some topic here okay you got the ID generate as well as the date and the time and then for the type you change it to like income topic you can put like a uh, slowly uh, of like a March Twenty twenty four, something like this. For example, amounts would be like uh, I don't know in um, maybe uh, twenty thousand. I know in the currency US or uh, in my case would be the Thai baht. Okay, for example, I'm a Thai people. Okay, okay for this one, well. Just an email. Okay, you make save it. <coughs> okay, it show up here. For example, edit. Okay, next you would be like uh, add <coughs> for a pen topic would be like uh, before. For pay for uh, March uh, pay for March uh, quick bill. amount would be like uh, 500 no web no document no image you have save it okay and now we gonna make another sum up for the view you go to the view and then we go for uh, the primary navigation we add pass at new view create a new view you can add like a thumb or uh, income and expand. You can change the view type to be the, like uh, the table up the that. You can have like a uh, goodbye. In this case, we will go by type, okay, to separate the income and expenses and each group aggregate, we would uh, sum up the amount, okay, for example, like this. Okay, then we can uh, choose the, the column order. The first one, we should uh, focus on date and then we should focus on the topic after that we should focus on like uh, amount hmm. okay we can uh, remove the topic we concern about the amount and then we concern about the to uh, the balance okay for example like this. okay you will see that uh, we income in the group of income uh, 20,000 and for the expense on the same day will be uh, 500 and then with the parent will be located here in order to uh, for us to to uh, to know that what's uh, exactly balance we have on hand right now okay it's a quick menu that we can have a look for the, the, the balance of our uh, income for uh, for this month. Okay. 
Okay, let's have a uh, save first of the batch. Uh, <clears throat> you can uh, kind of like uh, change the icon here by moving down to display. After that, you can on like a deep money, you can change it like uh, this one, some. So this uh, income, you change it like uh, money. No, this should not to be a display name, it should be here. <clears throat> change it like uh, uh, to record the income and expense, something like that. Okay. So now we have a little menu. Uh, on the bottom, the sum, income, expense, and the record for the income and expenses. So now we will go back to this one and we try to use the format rule in order to make something like a low balance that turn to like a yellow or red, something like that. So you go to this. Okay, uh, we go to the format rule. After that, we add format rule. After that, we create a new format rule for this one. We uh, its name to like a uh, low balance, low balance. And for this data is my expenses. And format this column we should like uh, total parent okay for the total balance we use for this condition we change it to like uh, uh, total balance is uh, <coughs> less than okay less than or equal to 20,000 we save it. What we would like to see, see like uh, <coughs> arrow. Arrow go down like this, and I like color red. We need save. Okay. Then we will add the to the, this orange and then the text format to be bigger size as we add for the board okay we have done for this uh, so if you would like to change like uh, for the format rule you can change it for the variance that you would like to be to show the like a uh, warning uh, amount Okay. okay, now you have to share it to your <coughs> email in order that you can use this application and make the discipline on your daily income and daily expenses. This will help you to uh, manage your daily expenses. Okay, if you have any question or any doubt about how to get the application, please feel free to comment below and thank you for your watching.